Hi guys! In this lesson, I will tell you about the diode types, which are indispensable circuit elements of electronics, which are the most basic and simplest of the semiconductor elements, play a very important role in electronic systems, and are used in many electronic applications, from the simplest to the most complex. As you know, diodes consisting of doped P and N type structures made of semiconductor silicon have an anode and a cathode pin. If the current is flowing from the anode to the cathode, the diode allows the current to flow and prevents it from flowing in the opposite direction. In other words, it is a circuit element that flows current in only one direction. Of course, diodes are not limited to these silicon diodes that we know. There are many types of diodes used in electronics. Let's take a look at the most commonly used ones. Light emitting diode. LED, an abbreviation formed from the initials of the English words light emitting diode, is one of the diode types we use most in our daily lives. As can be seen, it is a structure in which the anode pin is long and the cathode pin is short, produced in different colors according to the type of additive in it. Its symbol is like this and is drawn with arrows on the diode symbol showing that it emits light. Today, we can see that they are used in many advertising signs because they are more visual than other light sources, but also for lighting purposes due to their efficiency and even because of the vividness of their colors, they are widely used on television and many other screens by reducing their size. Laser Diode A laser diode is a light emitting diode, just like an LED. However, laser lights have a single wavelength, do not scatter, and can be directed. The movement of short wavelength and high frequency lights in harmony increases the power of the light. Since the wavelength is small, there is less dispersion. Excited electrons move in certain directions, not in all directions. This makes the laser light very bright. Its symbol is like this and is drawn with arrows on the diode symbol showing that it emits light. It is shown as three pins in the figure. A pin is common. Laser diodes are used in precision cutting of metal or other materials, in eye and other surgeries without a knife, in blood production, cell renewal, guiding the landing and takeoff of airplanes, in product barcode readers and markets, in optical readers of CDs and DVDs, in very fast information transmission with fiber optic cable. They are used in precision distance measurements, laser guided missiles in the defense industry, and many more. Infrared Light Emitting Diode In general, the abbreviated name IRLED is used. Its symbol is like this and is drawn with arrows on the diode symbol showing that it emits light. Infrared LED is used in the controls of television, car, projection, and many other remote control devices. When we press any button on the remote, these diodes emit infrared lights that we cannot see with our eyes. Although we cannot see this infrared light emitted by the remotes, we can see it through our phone's camera. If you want, you can look at this light emitted by the remote of your television in your home with your phone's camera in this way. Photodiode Photodiodes are diodes that work with the reverse logic of LEDs. In other words, light is produced when current flows through the diode in LEDs. While in photodiodes, the conductivity of the diode increases when infrared light falls on it and some even produce current. Its symbol is like this, and it is drawn on the symbol of the diode with arrows showing that it works when light comes on it. These diodes are used for remote control with the signal coming from the remote control on the television, projector, and many other electronic devices that we use in our daily life. The panels used to generate electricity with solar energy are produced in the same principle as photodiodes. A voltage is produced as a result of electrons breaking when light falls on it. In our video where we explained the working principle of the transistor, we built two circuits using infrared LED and photodiode. We can look at this example again to understand the usage logic of the two. There is a simple control circuit on the left and a simple receiver circuit on the right. When we press the button in the circuit on the left, a current will flow through this circuit and the infrared LED will emit an infrared light. With this light, the photodiode in the circuit on the right will be short-circuited, and the current will flow through this circuit and the transistor will be triggered with a small current. Then a current will pass through this circuit and the lamp will light up. Thus, we wirelessly control a larger current with a small current. Schottky Diode 
These diodes have lower forward voltage drop compared to ordinary silicon PN junction diodes. In other words, while the voltage required for a normal silicon diode to pass current is about 0.7, this value is somewhere between 0.15 and 0.4 volts in these diodes. In order to achieve this performance, Schottky diodes are composed of platinum coating of the junction surface of the P and N materials of the normal diode. By covering the junction surface with platinum, the neutral zone in the middle is thinned and it is easier for the current to exceed the neutral zone. The symbol is like this. Normal diodes cannot respond to voltage reversal at very high frequencies. In other words, they cannot change from a conductive state to an insulating state or from an insulating state to a conductive state. In order to respond to these rapid changes, Schottky diodes have been manufactured to be used in computers, RF and rectifier applications that need high switching speed. Bridge Diode These diodes are used to rectify alternating current power inputs in power supplies. In fact, it is a full wave rectifier circuit consisting of four diodes gathered in a single circuit element. The negative alternance of the sinusoidal wave at the input is rectified at the output and the negative alternance is made positive on the load. Its symbol is like this and it is the combination of four diodes in this way. The diodes here can be normal PN silicon diode junction diodes or Schottky diodes can be used to be more efficient. Zener Diode They are diodes that keep the voltage applied to their ends constant. Zener diodes do not pass current up to a certain voltage value in the reverse direction. This voltage is called break or Zener voltage. When connected to the circuit in the right direction, it works like a normal silicon diode. When it is connected in the opposite direction, it does not conduct until the breakdown voltage and when the breakdown voltage is exceeded, it conducts current and turns on. When the reverse voltage is removed, the Zener diode returns to its normal state. Since Zener diodes work in reverse polarity, they are reverse connected to the circuit. The breaking stress value is determined by adjusting the amount of additive at the production stage. The symbol is like this. They are orange in color and have a black stripe at the cathode tips. The Zener diode, which finds a variety of applications in order to provide a constant reference voltage or for protection purposes, appears in many electronic circuits. Therefore, there are Zener diodes in many circuits that undertake the functions of voltage stabilization, signal clipping, and electronic element protection. Vericap or Veractor diode These diodes are a kind of microwave solid state semiconductor. The application areas of these diodes are mainly voltage control places with variable capacitance. It has a normal PN diode structure, but this diode is chosen to give the desired capacitance values. The specially manufactured Vericap diode allows for high range capacitance changes. Vericap diodes are generally used in RF circuit designs. You can also adjust the capacitor voltage or capacitance in a circuit with a Vericap diode. Vericap diodes present a varying capacitance in the circuit using the voltage control technique. So it can be used like a regulated capacitor. Its symbol is like this and a line in the form of a capacitor symbol has been added to the end of the diode symbol. These are the types of diodes commonly used in electronic circuits. Basically, we learned the working principle and symbols. I hope it was helpful and you liked it. Hope to see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.